Call Facts coming back at you again, and we gon' give you the facts. As I walk into this gym, I'm greeted by Denzel Smith, fresh from his trip from China where he balled overseas. His story is one that was supposed to end in tragedy, but obviously, obviously that didn't happen. Denzel went to Danville High School in Illinois in 2014. Started out as a 6'4 shooting guard, small forward combo. He averaged 22 points per game. He was awarded commercial player of the year, first team all conference. He could really ball and everyone around his town knew it. They were telling him, young fella, you're next. When he graduated, he went to a D1 school named Terrellton State University. But now he was no longer 6'4. This guy grew two more inches, a 6'6 guard. So you know he was getting looks from other schools. They were trying to get him to the bigger schools. But that's when tragedy happened. In 2016, Denzel tore his ACL and everyone stopped calling him and hope seemed to be lost. But this dude, this dude would not stop. He began rehabbing as soon as he could. The doctors told him, you know, you're going to have a normal life, but your sports career just might be over. Denzel wasn't hearing those words. Not at all. He put work in and he came back stronger and better. He just came back from an international tour in Asia where he was giving the scouts a second look at him since his injury. In case they thought he lost the step, he was showing them like the game is still here. Anyway, when I got there, you know, I shook hands with him and all that, but he was on the phone and I waited. I said, like, wait, is the guy rude? What's going on? So I just waited, was setting up my camera gear and I kind of was eavesdropping, not intentionally, but I could hear what he was saying. And then I understood what was going on. The guy was basically talking to another hooper and he was like, like, bro, don't give up. You can do it. You got to do this. You got to do that. I can connect you. I can help you with this. He was encouraging somebody else. And I said, wow, this guy's got it. So he got off the phone. He apologized. We chopped it up. And then we got right into the interview. And I enjoyed what he had to say. I was around like five or six when my dad put the ball in my hands. When he put the ball in my hands, I just fell in love with the game. The game means a lot for me. It took me places in the world that I never thought I'd be. So this game means a lot to me. I, I eat, breathe, sleep this game. This game means more than everything to me. The strongest part of my game is my scoring ability. I can score in numerous ways. I can either, you know, post you up, turn around, jump shot, J, drive, go to the basket, one, one dribble, pull up. I mean, you name it, I can do a little bit of everything. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but I can just do a little bit of everything. I feel like I could fill a professional team role by just playing and do the things that I know that I'm good at and everything will fall into place. What motivates me the most to keep playing basketball is my mom. My mom is still actually working. She really don't even supposed to be working right now. She's supposed to be in the house with her feet kicked up. The, the journey that I have, it makes me mad because I know that I'm supposed to be in a different spot. People over in China, or Israel, or Italy, or Europe really don't got the things that we got access to. So when I came back into the States from China, it actually opened my eyes to a lot of things. And I'm actually really grateful for everything that I have as of now. Now, if you were to get a call from an NBA team to come try out, what does that mean to you? That would mean the world, man. I mean, this is, that was always my dream. Me playing basketball on the highest level, that was always my dream. Me growing up, I always had people doubting me. I always had people, you know, just wishing bad on me. And everybody know that I had it. So, therefore, you know, if I get a call from NBA team, I will give them my, I give them 110 percent and plus extra work. I'm not even at the peak of my game yet, so it is what it is. If I get that call, it will be a blessing from God. And while you're striving for your goal, how important is it to ignore outside chatter from other people? It's, a, it's very important because most people feel like they know what they're talking about, but the whole time they don't even know what they're talking about. They just want to say something because they want to feel their opinion means something to you. Um, most of the time, you block out all that negative or side talk, you'll be good. I mean, your mind's supposed to be in a different state of mind anyway when you're on that court. So, 
People's opinions don't matter when you play in this game of basketball. It's about hard work. It's all about hard work. If you don't put in no work, ain't nothing going to show for it. And it's going to catch up to you. It's going to catch up to you. And it's going to show if you ain't put in no hard work in that gym. Stupid hours. And if you ain't put no stupid hours in that gym and ain't show no work, it's going to show for itself. It's going to show in that basketball court. So you got to work hard when it comes to this game. This game is not no joke. Denzel Smith is a hooper. Let me tell you, afterwards, I'm like, you want to play one-on-one? He kind of looked at me like, okay, sure. So we get out there. You know, I do my little moves, step back, cash. I make my shot. I'm, I'm looking my cer- certain type of way, looking at him. You know, how you know, ball facts. Come on now. And then he like, oh, okay. Let me tell you guys, I didn't get another point scored. He shut me straight down. I thought I was doing something. And that's not saying much. I'm just saying I know a hooper when I see one. It's not just the athletic ability. It's not just the height. When you take those two things and put them with the hard work and the skill, oh my gosh, this dude's on next level. And I got to give it up to him because I am a sucker for underdogs. Anybody that has to come from the bottom and work their way up, I just got so much respect for them. And I got mad respect for this dude. My name is Pedro. I'm a baller. And that's a fact. Until the next one, guys, I need you to like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell. Ball facts again. Peace.